Um, I want to sell these after and hopefully, you know, cheer somebody up. Um, this one, the first one says, You're just too good to be true. It's like that song, isn't it? You're just too good to be true. Can't take those pies off you. She's for a fat girl, this one, right? And you can, you can copy and paste your own picture of a fat girl in the centre of... It's nice to get involved with stuff, isn't it? So, got another one. I've got no GCSEs, but you and me equals STDs. And you can copy and paste your own photo in that one. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm like herpes the love bug, I am. I'm like Pokemon, I've caught them all. But yes, I've got one. She was quite hot, the girl on just before me, a lovely young lady, uh, Karen. I was home in the pull her, so I made one for her. It says, Dear Karen, I hope you're not barren. So, I don't know what the age limit is, like the sell by date. Because uh, my this morning, I had a letter of a secret admirer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know, yes. And I could tell it was off a secret admirer because of the letters on the envelope, you see. It said S-W-A-L-K. Do you know what that stands for? Do you know what that stands for, love? The one I picked on as she was drinking, which is now awkward, hashtag awkward. Do you know what that stands for, love? Oh, I thought not. <laughs> S-W, we'll recap, it's called a callback, right? S-W-A-L-K. Do you know what that stands for? Sealed with a love. Margaret knew. Yeah, so she's still drinking. Margaret Thatcher's, we'll call you in a minute, right? <laughs> right, so uh, sealed with a loving kiss, that stands for. Unfortunately, I'm dyslexic, it was Swaylek, but it still counts, all right? It still counts. It does still count. I've had um, a bad experience with dating because um, my, my wife actually left me uh, for a man who was... There's nothing funny about that, it's 2019, it could have been a girl. <laughs> Grow up, right. She left me for a man who's actually half Norwegian, half Mexican. I know what you're thinking, no way, Jose. <laughs> but that was a joke, that was a play on words. It's called a pun, keep up, right? To, truth be told, she actually left me for a multi-millionaire businessman who sells tea bags. And their sex life was apparently amazing. He would tea bag her. He would stand behind her and whip her on the ass try not to strain, and he would, he would enter on the arse with a tea bag. He tried to film it and sell the film. It was called Fifty Shades Earl Grey. Come on, let's hear you. Thank you, let's just move. No, it... This one says, roses are red, violets are blue. I'm an excellent cook, and I'm also part you. That one is factual. That is factual, it's not funny, but it is true. Shalom. Shalalalalalom, shalalalalilom, dom, 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 dom. Watch this. Girl, I'm gonna make you sweat. Ah, sweat till you can't sweat no more. And if you cry, I'm gonna stop and think about how my actions affected this. Hashtag me too. Okay, so what else have we got? It's a special night tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, because obviously it is the Welsh Valentine's Day. Give me a ooh. ooh. Yes. And it's also Burns Night. Ooh. And I wanted to do something really special for Burns Night, but I couldn't find any Simpsons costumes. <laughs> Just a Simon Weston mask. Oh. oh. It's no skin of my nose if you laugh or not. It doesn't really matter. But 